Today, I'm gonna to take you on a tour of what is arguably one of the most unique neighborhoods in the United States. What makes this neighborhood so special? What if you could have access to the beach, crystal clear waters, a coastal style living without the threat of storm surge and scary marine wildlife? Along with all the things you'd expect to find in the best suburbs, including access to top schools, shopping centers, great dining, parks, hospitals, a focus on safety, and literally have a beach in your backyard. Well, a beach in your community at least. Would that interest you at all? In today's video, we're gonna explore why Wesley Chapel has not only become one of Tampa Bay's top suburbs, but one of the best cities in the state of Florida to call home. You'll get a tour of the Epperson Ranch neighborhood in Epperson Lagoon, as well as an exclusive sneak peek of an incredible home just listed for sale so you can really see what life in Epperson is all about. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala, and almost six years ago, my wife Kate and I sold almost everything we own, packed up our family of five, moved 1,200 miles south here to the greater Tampa Bay area, and have been loving it ever since. We've also helped about 150 people just like you relocate to the area as well. Well. So if you're interested in making that move or just have more questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All my contact information is down below, including a link to my calendar where we can hop on Zoom and get you started with the process. Now, before we jump out of the community, I just wanted to give you some insights. Wesley Chapel is located in Pasco County, about 30 minutes north of downtown Tampa. It has a population of approximately 72,000 people and is growing at about 3% a year. It's growing pretty rapidly. Uh, the median age is just shy of about 37 years old, and the median household income is just over $100,000. Now, what if you wanted to buy a home in Wesley Chapel? What would that cost you? Well, over the last 30 days, the average home sale was a 2,133 square foot, four bedroom, three full bath, two car garage that sold for right around $441,000. But home prices ranged anywhere from $290,000 on the low end, all the way up to $1.5 million. Well, if you had to commute to the office for work, what would that look like? And as I shared earlier, it's about 30 minutes to downtown Tampa. It's gonna be 30 to 35 minutes to Tampa International Airport. It'll be 25 minutes to the University of South Florida, about 25 minutes to Moffitt Cancer Center, their main campus. There are multiple other campuses in the area. It's gonna take you about an hour to get to Clearwater Beach, an hour and 10 minutes to get to downtown St. Petersburg, and about an hour and 15 minutes to get to Disney. All right, enough with the details. Let's jump out in the community and really explore everything that Epperson and Wesley Chapel has to offer. All right, now one of the things I think you guys will notice right away in this entry is how wide it is. Um, extra high ceilings, which, you know, new construction, that is the thing. I, I love the beam as a nice accent, and they've went ahead and done board and batten um, through the home as well with some really nice accents. This homeowner um, not only has a great attention to detail, but a really nice design sense as well. And I think you guys are gonna get that as we go through this tour, it's awesome. Now, right over to the left here, when you enter the home, you've got the main bathroom here. Um, also notice you've got two closets. You got a coat closet to the right and a linen closet to the left, I love that. Um, we'll come back to that, but there's a bedroom right on the front. There are two bedrooms right on the front, but this is the first one we're gonna tour here. Got this set up as uh, basically a guest bedroom. It's really nice. I love the sage. Not everyone is into colors, um, but I think that this is a really nice warm tone. And like I said, the attention to detail in this room is just unbelievable. Closets are a great size. I'm not gonna take you into them today. Uh, the homeowners are still living here, so I wanna make sure that we're respectful of their privacy, but a really, really good spot over to the left here. Here we've got that main bathroom that we were talking about. Um, something I thought was a nice touch, you still have a double vanity. Usually you see that in a primary bathroom, in the master bathroom, if you will, but I don't usually see that in, in a main bathroom area, but good size here, tile shower, extra large shower head. Um, that's a nice touch. And as you kind of head back up the hallway here, the third bedroom in the house, if you will, um, four bedrooms in total. Um, they're treating this as an office. This is her office currently, which is a really nice space too. Um, again, warm, 
tones, attention to detail. Man, I love her eye here. It's great. Um, good space. Again, closets are, you know, there's more than enough room in there for you guys and most of your stuff. And then as we cross the hallway here, I'm gonna take you back over to what they're using as another office. This has French doors as you come in, um, closet space as well. Um, and then this is being used as his office currently. <laughs> so nice natural light coming in the front of the house here. And then again, as we walk back into the entryway, um, you can see the board and bat in detail. Um, and then there is a half bathroom right here off to the right. Um, again, I love the way she has designed this home. It's beautiful. Um, really, really nice stuff. Quartz countertops, um, all the amenities you would expect as we come in. I love the beam here up top. That's a nice touch. And then this dining space is enormous, y'all. I mean, look, that table is at least seven feet, if not eight feet long. Um, you've got room for a sitting space here. Love the accent wall with a board and bat. And again, that's really, really nice touch. Um, and then they've got this entertainment console set up over here. Love the monitors up top, the speakers. Um, really, really nice. And then that gives us right to this grand opening here. Um, you got the, the trade ceiling, which is fantastic. Uh, leads to the kitchen, which you guys can see over there, and all the natural light from the door walls. So you got two sets of door walls. This has waterfront. You guys are gonna, or water view, you're gonna love it here. Um, I'm gonna hold the kitchen. We'll come back to this and I'm gonna take you to that incredible outdoor space. But I wanna take you into the primary bedroom, which is awesome as well. They did an upgrade on this property here. This is a Pulte build, uh, but they did an upgrade on this property, adding an additional approximately 10 feet on the back of this room here. So this room is massive. Plenty of room for a dance, if you will, but I mean, that is a Cali King, a humongous bed, and you've still got huge nightstands on each side. Those gotta be at least 30 inches, if not 36. Um, and then as we kind of come back to the back side of the room here, big, warm, open windows, and then this oversized uh, lounger here, which is great. Um, and then that gives you that water view, which I'll sneak peek outside for you guys later. And then that overlooks your um, covered lanai here. Screened in also, another set of door walls. So you got one, two, three sets of door walls on this house, leading to lots of natural light, which is awesome. Again, I love the homeowners took this extra option here of this bump out. This additional 10 you know, feet of space here makes a huge difference on how this bedroom feels. I mean, it is a massive feel for sure, but there's something about the um, having the extra light come in from this door wall that makes all the difference in the world that I'm, I'm really glad they took this option. And if, if I had it, I probably would also. So it's a really, really nice touch. You've got two fans in this space also, which is awesome. And wait till you see the size of the primary closet in this master bathroom is awesome, y'all. So check this out. Love the change from the warm to the white tile. If you haven't noticed that, it's pretty cool. Quartz countertops throughout the entire home, as we noticed, again, double vanity, big fan of that. Another linen closet here just to the right. And then you've got this awesome stand and shower here. Um, and I, I really like the tile. I don't feel like it's too busy or overwhelming. The large format subway tile is always a nice touch, classic if you will. Love the glass, it's super clean as you can see. And then we've got the water closet in here as well. If that's your thing, fan comes on automatically so I kept that off. And then you got this huge closet. They did invite us to this one, so we'll check this out. <laughs> and they basically have this split up as a his and hers right now. Um, plenty of space. If I bring you all the way around the corner, man, I mean like, I. You know, I don't have that much clothing. You might, but I definitely do not. Um, but it's more than enough um, for, for most people, I would say. And again, beautiful shower. I love the additional window up top. Just letting natural light into your shower because not every shower has that. And I'm a big fan. So as we walk back out into the primary here, again, you can see how large this space is windows, door walls. I love natural light coming into rooms and I'm, as most people do. So let's go check out the remainder of the home here. Um, again, dining area, attention to detail with the board and batten I think is great. Love this space here. Just get the, the sense of how large it actually is. Just awesome, man, just awesome. Okay, now as we come over to the living area, 
Love, 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 love the living room that feels like a family room, at least for me. You know, everybody lives in a house a little bit different. We've got three kids and a large dog. So, you know, we're looking for space and, and sitting right next to natural light, being able to overlook, you know, a water view is always a nice touch. And this sofa is huge. I'm not sure, it looks like it might be Thomasville. I'm not 100% sure, I'll have to ask her about that, but like huge sofa here. Um, and just enough space to kind of come hang out, watch a movie, watch a show, whatever it is. And then of course that is t attached directly to our kitchen, which this, I love this space. This morning, the natural light splashing into the room, coming through the windows here. Um, I love the rattan that they've got hanging on those pendant lights, quartz countertops throughout again. Love that. Um, you got that matte finish on the refrigerator. Um, conventional convection oven as well um, with the microwave. It is an electric cooktop. Not everybody has gas in Florida, uh, if you may or may not be aware of that, but um, I really like how this kitchen is laid out. And I'm a big fan of the, the tile choice here too. It's, it's like a matte finish, um, so it's not overly shiny. Super clean look, but it's also, it gives me that kind of timeless vibe that I really personally appreciate. Um, and plenty of space here in the galley, if you will. Um, I'm a big fan of, of, of functional kitchens and you've got the, the triangle, right? So sink and um, cooktop, and then you've got your uh, oven here as well. And the refrigerator is not too far off. So like, that's a good feel. And then here's another little thing that, that most people don't catch. I walk into new construction homes or new homes in general, and they don't put the dishwasher next to the sink. <laughs> Has any of you, I wanna know this, let me know in the comments. If any of you walked into a home where there's an extra set of cabinets before the dishwasher, don't do that. If you get a kitchen redesign, please don't let them do that to your kitchen. It, it ruins the functionality, it makes me crazy. My wife goes, goes nuts about this. The home we bought, they did that and that is a giant mistake and I just, I don't think it's a good option for you personally. Um, huge, huge pantry here. Double doors opening up to this thing. And uh, obviously, big fan of scotch, which is nice. Um, love it. But it's clean, plenty of space here. I mean, it's a huge pantry. I just don't think we're doing it justice right now. Like, it's a great size pantry. Um, and then also the hood. I like having a, a hood that goes outside directly when you're cooking, I think that's important. Um, love the size of the island. They've even got additional storage here on this end and on the other end. I love that too. Um, and then another council table as you come in here. Let me take you guys back here. Um, this is a really cool spot how it's set up. So this is the mud room essentially. You got a coat closet right to the right hand side. Um, over here, sitting area where you can put the shoes on, do your thing. Um, what's up y'all? And then just a coat rack there, which is great as well. Um, huge laundry room. I mean, what a great laundry space here. Got the white tile again. Love the shelves here. Uh, plenty of space. I mean, you've got the wash tub as well, but this is a big, big laundry space. Plenty of room for additional storage in here if you need it as well. They got the Dyson hanging on the wall. All of the uh, access points to um, the network are back there also. And then I'll give you guys a quick peek of the garage. Now, this is a double deep garage and uh, y'all, this is a garage, so don't hold it against anyone here. <laughs> They've got an additional refrigerator. Um, I do love that the floors are epoxied. That is something that um, a lot of people do miss. And you know, you've still got the two spaces up front for the cars. So if you wanted to put a home gym back here um, in this space or just additional storage, you've got it. So love, love, love that that's an option. And again, you walk in, and you've got all this beautiful space here. Now I'm gonna take you guys to what I think is one of the best features of this home, not including access to the incredible amenities you have over at Epperson, which is one of the largest lagoons in the country, but wait till you see this outdoor space. It's phenomenal. As we come out to this covered lanai, birds are chirping. Love this space over here. They got the couches, the chairs, fire pit that's the primary bedroom the master um, again that's the huge three door wall there um, it's a pocket it slides all the way across so you can open up the entire back end of the house here 
Um, and then you've got the, the door walls that lead into the kitchen. You've got a, another dining table here for when you're entertaining, they put the grill on the side. And again, you do have the screened in lanai, which is great. So it keeps the bugs down, number one. Um, it also gives you some extra UV protection. And you guys will notice this as I, as I come out the screen. This is one of the things that people don't know about having a screen in lanai is how much sun it blocks you from. Like watch what happens, the exposure here as we walk out. Just an entirely different view. Um, love, love, love the wrought iron fence here on the back. Um, nice touch as well. And that leads down to this great um, retention pond uh, where you get to overlook the, uh, uh, the, the wildlife every single morning or every evening. The sunsets here are incredible. The sun rises here um, just over the horizon, if you guys can kind of see it. So it's super, super bright right now because of the, that time of day. The sun rises there and it sets back here. So you're gonna get just a warm, beautiful tone and you've got water here, another retention pond over there. One of the other things to note about this house is it did not flood during either one of the hurricanes that, that came through the Tampa Bay area. So that is important to know um, because that's, people have lots of questions about that now, but great landscaping throughout this home. Again, covered, you know, majority the, the back of the property here. You had that additional bump out option that they took great property i mean this is one of those homes that it's hard not to love you know when it comes to living here in the greater tampa bay area people are looking for properties just like this and give you a great sense of space here look how big this lanai is wow well just plenty of room we're going to head back inside again give you another view of what it looks like to live in this beautiful home here and this is all what's happening in the four walls, right? When you look at having access to the lagoon, having access to dog parks, having um, your own bike trails and um, walking trails and having access to so many different things in these properties, it's hard not to love a house like this. And again, the attention to detail here is phenomenal, even down to the flooring choice, which I did not give you guys a good I love when the sun's beaming in and you can feel the warmth. You know, sometimes these spaces feel cold, not this one. It's a great, great house. Love, 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 love it. There you go. Gol golf cart living in its finest. <laughs> this is your view out the front door. Just a great space. One of the things I love about spaces like this is how inviting it actually is. When you have, you know, three sets of door walls, you get to open up your house here in Florida, especially November, basically through May, and just really take in all that natural air, number one, and being on the water here, being able to look at what's going on outside, hearing the birds chirping, seeing the, the, the butterflies and the birds outside. I love this, this is what it's all about. And there's so much warm natural light coming in this home, it's fantastic. And I can just see me and my family here during the holidays. You know, Kate loves to cook, so do I. This kitchen gives you enough space where, you know, you could have three or four of you in here cooking uh, with all the counter space, with all the prep space and not be bothered bumping into each other. Sometimes it's a little bit tighter than it looks. I, I'm here to tell you this is not one of those properties. And the attention to detail that the owner has put in here, um, you know, she is a phenomenal designer um, in her own right. I'm just blown away. I, I literally have asked if, if I could hire her because she's just done such a good job. I love how this property makes me feel in case you couldn't tell. And I think you probably would too. If you're looking for all the information on this property, you'll find a link to the property website down below, including the list price, all of the details you'll want to know. If you'd like a private tour of this home, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. If you're considering moving here to Epperson Ranch or anywhere else in the Tampa Bay area, all of our contact information is down there. There's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that is most convenient for you. And as always, and until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.